The oil and gas industry helps satisfy the world's energy needs through the extraction and refining of petroleum and natural gas. Drilling the wells that fuel our world is increasingly a high-tech pursuit requiring different skill sets and expertise. There are three main types of companies that collaborate to extract crude petroleum and natural gas from below the Earth's surface. These companies are the E&P companies, drilling contractors, technical service companies, and OEMs. Oil and gas companies, also called Exploration and Production, or ENP companies, seek the subsurface hydrocarbon resource. These companies range in size from smaller independent operators targeting a specific land play, such as U.S. shale, to publicly traded super majors with operations worldwide both onshore and offshore. The role of ENP companies is to produce oil or gas for refining into fuels and other useful products or to power electrical plants. Often, several E&P companies work as partners on a given well. Together, these firms determine where to drill a well based on subsurface data acquired using seismic technology or through other names. One of these companies is given responsibility for day-to-day decision-making during well drilling. This company is called the operator. First thing an operator has to do is get the rights to drill on a particular piece of land. So in the U.S., that would be to, to obtain a lease Internationally, it's to arrange a contract with the government. Once we have the right to drill, then we select exactly where we want to drill the wells and when. The next step is to design the well, the, the engineering and mechanical design of exactly where the different uh, strings of pipe will be put underground, how the well will be drilled. After the formation has been selected, the operator designs an exploratory well to target the potential resources and determines which companies are best equipped to drill it. The next step is to select contractors that will do the workforce. We do not actually drill the wells ourselves. We hire drilling contractors and service companies to do that workforce. But we will manage the work during the drilling process and supervise it. If petroleum is found from the exploratory well in commercial quantities, the operator will plan additional wells, called development wells, to produce recoverable resources from the formation. So once we get through with the drilling process, then, then we complete the well, and that means to create holes in the pipe or some sort of opening to get the oil and gas out of the underground formation and into the well bore. And the well bore itself is carefully sealed with heavy pipe to keep all of the oil and gas well contained and control all the pressures. However, before an operator can drill a well, it must first select a drilling rig. Drilling rigs are owned and operated by drilling contractors, also known as drillers. Their rig employees are called rig crews. Well, drilling contractors provide the capital equipment, the rigs, and the personnel required to drill the wells. Uh, our customers, uh, the E&P companies, the operators, uh, they provide the capital to invest in the wells. Uh, they also provide the engineering and the oversight of the drilling of the wells. Drilling contractors are paid by the operator. Payment terms are usually a flat daily rate. Less common are so-called footage rates where the drilling contractor is paid a fixed amount per foot of well drilled. Finally and rarely, drilling contractors are paid to deliver the entire well for a large flat fee. This is called turnkey. As drilling contractors, we construct the wells that oil and gas companies will ultimately use to produce oil and gas. We don't produce oil ourselves. Uh, and we don't use our equipment to produce the oil. We put a well in place and set up all the equipment in place so that an oil company could come in, put its own production platform and rig in place that will be used through the life of the field. But ultimately that oil and gas is owned and produced by the oil companies, and we get paid on a day rate basis for our services when we're present. There are both onshore and offshore drilling contractor companies that range in size and focus. Onshore and offshore drilling contractors both exist to drill wells. However, there are important operational and technical differences differentiating land and offshore drilling operations. Well construction cycle time on land is, tends to be much shorter. Uh, because of that, the rigs tend to be a bit smaller. Entrepreneurial spirit is still well alive in North America. One of the technologies that has really allowed, um, what has really brought on the, uh, the growth in, in oil production in North America has, has been this non-conventional shale play and pad drilling in, in, in particular. Where it used to take us three or four days to move the rig, uh, we're now able to walk a rig from wellhead to wellhead within a matter of hours uh, rather than days. 
Offshore drilling contractors can also specialize in operations targeting specific water depths. Generally, this includes shallow water, which is less than 1,000 feet, midwater, which ranges from 1,000 feet to 4,000 feet, and deep water, which is greater than 4,000 feet. Operations that take place in water depths greater than 7,500 feet are often considered ultra-deep water. Uh, there's a lot more complexity to drilling offshore. The, the rig is the same and the well construction technique is largely the same, but really the main difference is some of the technology that has to be used as you go deeper in the water. A shallow water rig is typically a rig very much like a land rig, mounted on a solid platform that can be jacked up from the seabed uh, to, to create a stable platform from which to drill. A jack-up is but one type of offshore drilling rig. Semi-submersibles and drill ships float unlike the bottom-supported jack-up, hence they can drill in much deeper water. Typically we'll use a semi-submersible or maybe a small drill ship in the midwater environment. And obviously that rig can move slightly. The deeper you go, the bigger the, the vessels that we use. Um, and in deep water, typically we'll use a drill ship. Uh, drill ships are much like the size of a Second World War aircraft carrier. I mean, they're very big vessels. To learn more about the various types of drilling rigs, view the Meet the Rig module. Besides the drilling rig, Operators must contract out numerous other services to successfully drill a well. Operators hire oil field service companies to accomplish these jobs. Oil field service companies provide a large range of services and applications from drilling and formation evaluation, well construction, completion and stimulation, and artificial lift or production at the end of the well program. The planning stages of, of an operator's well and um, they're going through the technology selections, planning the well. Um, they'll often come to us to evaluate uh, the types of technologies that we have and see how we apply that. Often we've got to put specialised equipment and integrate that into the rigs. So we'll generally sit down with the drilling contractor, we'll look at ways that we can make these things integrated. Um, it talks to their control systems and importantly the safety management systems. We'll figure those things out and then again come back to the operator demonstrating that we've been able to collaborate pretty well together and deliver the solution. The two main things and where the service companies play a role is first of all in terms of providing people and technology and the second one is the investment that they make in technology as well. From technologies to try to find where the resources are downhole all the way to drilling the wells and providing drill bits, rotary steerable equipment, wireline technology to so I to understand where the formation, where the reservoir is as well. The service companies actually start long before a well is drilled. And they also stay involved throughout the life cycle of the well. That could last for decades. The size and scope of oil field service companies also varies, from larger firms that may offer more than 30 different services to smaller groups that specialize in a single service. These companies may perform work for an operator on a single well for many years. Another segment that is integral to the drilling industry is equipment manufacturing, which develops the equipment necessary to drill the well. This includes drill pipe and casing, drill bits, drilling fluids, and all other equipment, including the rig itself. In the drilling process, we provide all of the equipment and hardware and software to do drilling, so we apply it across the industry. So we'll deliver all of the systems that will drill the well, so from the structures to the machines, and then the software and the controls that run those machines. Equipment manufacturers collaborate with operators, drilling contractors, and oil field service companies to develop new types of equipment that builds on existing designs to solve oil field challenges and streamline the drilling process. These companies are responsible for designing virtually all drilling equipment. What's interesting for us is we do make for all of these people in different applications. So we make the same machines and they all use them. So when it gets to conversations about how do we get better, um, or how do we reach somewhere that we couldn't reach before? Uh, we have to talk to all of them because everyone is involved in the process. And so we'll spend a lot of time with all of them working out what is the best way to get the cost out, what is the best way to actually do things that we couldn't do before, get into deeper water, uh, when we went through the learning how to break up the earth to produce more on land. We all did that together. So they will say, here's the challenge, here's the opportunity, can you make the machine? And uh, we'll go away and, and make the machine. So it's a, it's a very collaborative process. In summation, the operator selects the formation to be drilled and designs the wells targeting the desired resource. The operator then selects a suitable drilling rig and contracts the drilling contractor or driller to conduct drilling operations. 
Operators also contract with other oil field service companies to perform necessary drilling services during the operation, and equipment manufacturers create the technology these companies will need to drill the wells. When it comes to drilling for oil and natural gas, it takes a team.